Hi everybody, greeting of success, health and safe. This time, I would like to make a short video to explain the program project cost report and breakdown that I posted on this platform in the earlier. You could view this post on LinkedIn. Well, let's review this program. This program consists of six worksheets. It has entry section. Yes, you see, it. you could see here as well as home office project cost table here. Yes. Site office project cost table. Also, this program generate some project cost report, project cost control report, as you, as you see here, cash flow, project cash flow report, project cost balance, and project cost, project cost breakdown. Well, let me check the project cost report one by one. We back again to project cost control report. In this section, you will see the project contract and budget plan. Okay. In case, you should input this section manually. But don't forget. But don't worry, sorry. I have made link for this data already. So the data has filled automatically. And costs that include during the project are divided into two classifications. Home office project costs and site office project costs. You will see also remaining costs. The remaining costs to total to total cost, the remaining cost to the contract. Okay. The project cash flow. Okay. In this section, you will see cost per monthly between plan and again actual. Yes, plan, plan and again actual. For one more for, for one year project operation. In the below section, you will see Cash out schedule, cash, cash out actual, cash in schedule, net progress payment, and its balance. Also, this section equipped with project cash flow curve, which are interpretation and solving the cash flow into a curve. Then there is project cost balance. In this section, you will see the comparison between paid progress billing here and the project cost incurred during the project also its balance the project cost breakdown in this section you will see a comparison between the budget plan again cost incurred during the project they divided into two sections site office project cost and home office project cost Now we will check how to operate this program. We back again to entry section. Okay. To operate this program, you only need to input all costs incurred during the project in the entry section. But don't forget to complete with cost location, estimate, site office project cost, HO main, home office project cost. Also, cost code, yes, here, they divided into 19 classification in the form of letters starting from A to S. Okay, let me practice. First, we make the section empty. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay. You see, this section is empty already. Then we check all project cost report. Okay. Project cost control in empty condition. There is no data here. Cash flow. Same also. Same also to the other project cost balance. There is no project cost data. Same also to the project cost breakdown. In an, it's in empty condition. Okay? Then we back again to entry section. Okay? 
We will reveal this section with the deleted item. Okay. Okay. Now it's filled already. Okay. Kindly inform the cost data in this program is only input until the month of May. This is just purpose. Just for sample purpose only. Let's check all section and each and out that all cost that has filled out and filled out already. Well, we will we will check. Okay, starting from the total number we have in the entry section. Okay, here. So the total number showing. Okay. The total number showing eight hundred seventy nine thousand seven hundred fifty seven two hundred and fifteen rubies. Then we check the project cost control report. Okay. Okay. And the total is the same. Okay, here you see. And then in the project cash flow, okay, the same also. In the project cost balance, okay, the same also. A project cost, project cash flow, the same also. And then project cost balance, okay, with the same total number, okay. Now, this means. That all project cost data in all project cost report are synchronous and match one another. Okay, kindly inform this program is default for large scale FPC project. You can see in the entry section could cover up to thirty thousand. Yes, thirty thousand data. It can balance to two thousand and five hundred per month or one hundred and section per day for twenty five working days project cost data. Hopefully. This program will support you to become a professional APG cost controller. Thus, this short video I made, hopefully everything will be clear and this will, and this will be taken into your consideration. Again, thank you for watching. Keep in touch and stay connected.